faith family. We are the family of faith in Jesus Christ. Welcome to today's Daily Connection. We continue to read through God's Word. As we read right now, we're in Psalms. The prayers, the worship, the praise to God, the book of Psalms. Longest book in the Bible, 150 Psalms. And here we are in Psalms 35 through 38. And each one of these Psalms is unique. Psalm 35 is a, it's an individual lament. It's, it's over the loss of something, but it's a prayer to God. As to its form, it's a lament. Psalm 36 has at least three themes to it. But at least these three themes may be noticed in this psalm. Wisdom, praise, prayer. Psalm 36 re resembles Psalm 14 in its description of human depravity. But it, it also brings to mind David's personal confession, which is found in Psalm 32. So this is a, a, a psalm that we have to read carefully and, and pray God's understanding for it. Psalm 37, its basic theme deals with an age-old question. Why do the ungodly prosper while the godly painfully struggle through life? Have you ever asked that question? The psalmist did in Psalm 37. Psalm 38, David's perspective is that his painful plight is due, at least in part, to his personal sin. Wait a minute, that, that's like looking in a mirror and realizing I'm to blame for what I'm going through right now. That's what David did in Psalm 38 as he comes to God, a prayer, a prayer, again, of intense lament even parallel to those that we read when we read through the book of Job. But David turns to God. And as we read these Psalms, I honestly don't think I ever read the first Psalm, Psalm 1, until I was 35 or 40 in a discipleship training class. And the instructor pointed us to it and said that it was one of his favorite psalms. And then I read it and it's easy to fall in love with because it describes the type of person that you and I should be, the type of person that, that Jesus was. But if we look at Psalm 1, starting with verse 2, but his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in his law doth he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither. And whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. That's the promise to us as disciples of Jesus Christ. Our delight should be the law of the Lord. Our delight day and night, we should meditate on God. And how better to meditate on God than meditate on God's word. Let us focus our lives. We are here because God has work for us to do. Let us be disciples of Jesus Christ and live sent to take the good news to a lost world around us.